Well, Mr. Michael Wilson from Wilson Forest Lands, that was not nice. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel, Two Brothers Outdoors. So today, um, another sweltering day, it's about 96 degrees out, very high humidity. I opened this box for you guys on the last video and it contains the uh, new Hudson track sweeps. So tonight, real quick, I'm going to jack up this side of the mill, take the wheels off, install the track sweeps, and see how it works. So, stick with us, and let's see how hard this is going to be. Got my trusty impact gun. See right here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack this side of the mill up. I got a jack over here installed. That wasn't too hard. Got the wheels right off the ground, no problem. All right, so now I have to get a wrench. I uh, made a set of track sweeps for this when I first got it. And they work really well, but it's time to uh, Put a nice track sweep on it. It's only two uh, sheet metal screws, so it shouldn't be too bad to get these off of here. I don't want to lose any of these screws because we do back the log arches in here. Don't need a flat tire on the log arch. Deer flies are out. Usually they don't bother you inside a building, but they seem to have been very hungry today. I don't want any of you making fun of my deer flies because I will box up a bunch of them and send them to you. I don't know what I was thinking, putting a screw in it this long. All right. These are supposed to be pretty simple to put on. Does require taking the bolts off here. Don't have the mill quite high enough. So, I'm going to have to uh, go up a little higher with it. The wheel is still stuck in the track. Now, what may have happened is I have the jack sitting on a board, but it's sitting on sawdust. I guess that sawdust could have compressed. All right.
I love the battery operated tools. When the battery is done, it's done. All right, I gotta go put this battery on charge. I'll have to go grab another one real quick. Fortunately, I keep one on charge all the time. Put a little bit of oil on this bolt. Probably should have done that before I started. A yeah, good battery helps. All right. Comes with instructions, which I'm really good at. All right, looks like we have two of these. Four of these. One of these. And it looks to me like We have to go over here. All right, so according to this, you don't drop the washers in the sawdust. That's the first rule. All right, so we're going to take this off. Got to take the bolt out of it. Maybe a little tricky. There it goes. All right, so it says to put big washer on first, two little washers on next. Oops, and then this sticks through here like this. And then this goes through the wheel like that. Put our original washers back on. And then we should just have to tighten it up. So let's see what we got here. Put a couple drops of oil on this before I screw it in there. That'll help. All right. There's one on. Let's go do the back side. Didn't take long. I'm going to take this bag with me. Make it easier. And quicker. All right. So pretty much the same deal. Put a little bit of oil on this bolt. That'll help it come out. Because it is covered with sawdust. And I have to take the track sweep that I made off. That ain't going to be too hard. 
Oh, Tim went to uh, the surgeon today. Follow up. It's been a week and three days, week and two days since his surgery. He took all the packings out. And the doc said he's healing nicely. And that he can go back to work Monday. As long as he's careful about not lifting or bending over. Is it? We put these on Tim's Patriot when he had it. And they are really nice track sweeps. All right, let's get this wheel off. But that one came off hard, huh? Okay. So we have to remove the washers on the inside of the wheel. Those are what makes the wheel track. Remove the bolt. And then we got to put on the big washer. Track sweep. Two little washers. The original washers and big washer. All right, all we got to do is I put another couple drops of oil on this bolt, makes it go a little quick, quicker, easier. Okay. Get this track sweep in place before we start. All right. Make sure the wheel still turns. It does. All right. That one's on. The front one's on. All we got to do now is let the jack down. Let me check the... Uh, Oh, yeah, front ones are looking good. Okay. Now. Ooh. Boy. That's tight. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. I don't want to move at all. <sighs> okay. Maybe we tighten the wheels a little too much. If I remember correctly, you're not supposed to tighten, tighten them. Back them off a little bit. Oh yeah, I got a little movement now. I think I tightened the wheels too much. There we go. I tighten the wheels just a little too much. The wheels have got to be just a little loose to track properly. All right.
Oh, yeah. That did it, guys. All right. That was pretty simple. Let's get our jack out of here. And our other socket. My glasses are fogging up. That's how humid it is out. Let me take my track sweeps that I made. The tools that I normally keep in the mill. Put them away real quick. Put the track sweeps and bolts in the junk box. All right. I will bring you in for a close up so you can see these wonderful track sweeps. All right, guys. These are the track sweeps made by Hudson. See, so you got little shoes on them right here that ride on the track, front and back. And they got to be just a little bit loose. I over tighten the wheels. Same thing on the rear. A little bit of play. But right now, she's pushing pretty easy. So, these sweeps right here, they work really, really well. Let's put some stuff up on this track. We found even on Tim's mill, it literally keeps the pitch from uh, sticky logs building up on the track. They do a great job. All right, guys. So that is the Hudson track sweeps. Hudson Celsius. They work very, very well. This is the actual third set we've installed. We've got them on Tim's new Oscar, and we put them on his Patriot when they first came out. And... Hudson is really, really put a lot of thought into these sweeps, and they really are nice sweeps. All right, guys, thanks for coming along on this short little video of showing you how to put these track sweeps on. And as we do more videos, I will actually show you how well they work. But we already know how well they work. All right, guys, if you're not a subscriber to our channel, hit that subscription button. It's free. No memberships here, guys. And hit the notifications bell. You don't want to miss any of our future videos. And if you guys would, just smash that thumbs up. Just hit it. Don't cost a dime. But I tell you what, it is a big help to our channel. You hit that like button. It's telling them not only did we watch their videos, we like their videos. And when you like our videos, um, YouTube sees that. says, all right, put it out there for more people to watch. The more people that watch, the better it is for us. So you guys really help us by hitting those thumbs up. All right, guys, that's going to conclude this video. Thank you for coming along on this video with me. Tim should be back with us very, very soon. And uh, until the next one, we will catch you later. Let's just hope it's not this hot. I am sweating my... Sweating like crazy. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one.